Hello boys and girls. So of course there is no football right now and we need to think of something to do in terms of content. And one of the things I was thinking about was some of my old AFTV interviews and some of the hidden gems that may well be out there. We've seen some of the classics, the most watched in AFTV history, Liverpool, my first ever one at Leicester, even some of the most recent videos. So I'm going to find a few hidden gems and I'm going to do my reaction to those videos. Now, I'm no doubt going to cringe at some of the things that I said and no doubt cringe at the way that I probably dressed back then. I've been going on AFTV for around about six years now. So um, there's a hell of a lot of interviews to get through. Now, the first one I picked was just over four years ago and it was in March 2016 and we had just played whole city away and won 4-0. Now, what's significant about this video is that this was the game I brought out the Wenger out banner for the very first time. So with that said, let's go and have a look at that video and let's react to it and see if I can remember anything about it. Arsenal fan TV now DT you know it first of all I want to ask you about the game what did you what did you make of the game we got the job done but it was a poor performance wow the first thing I noticed is that hat no beard Robbie hasn't changed an inch it took a bad mistake from them to get us going mm. we, we weren't going until then and that's, that's as honest as you can be but but we capitalised the, yeah, on the mistake. We capitalised and we threw to And we punished them. At 4-0, you, know, you yeah. can't get much better than that. No, but again... Robbie being Robbie as diplomatic as ever. Injuries. Mm. Regardless of what we all think of Ramsey and Mertesaka, we need players at the moment. We can't have them dropping like flies. Gabriel, I don't know what's happened to him. Wow, listen to some of those names. Mertesaka and Gabriel. That was our centre-back pairing only four years ago. And then the, the one for me is Everton away. Three days after Barcelona, that's the big one. Mm. I can see Wenger putting out sides similar to that on Sunday against Watford and in Barcelona. I really can. Mm. Maybe with the exception. What would you do if you if you was in charge? What would you do? Would you just with, with the Barcelona game? Not, not so much that um, the we know with the Watford one, he's he's probably going to play a similar team to this. But with mm. the Barcelona game, would you go strong team, or would you think to yourself, you know, what, I've got a Everton game's much bigger. Mm. Well, firstly, if I was manager, I wouldn't have gone 11 years without winning the title. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Did I actually say that? Hard, we'll oh, my there. God. So, mm. it's a catch-22. We're all sitting there going, oh, man, the amount of money we spent. We kind of know that Barcelona are 95% through, but then, but then uh, the romantic side of us says... Bayern Munich away and I'm going for like a holiday that. mate I don't yeah, know about you, you know I, mean? well, yeah, so I don't know if I'll be going for a holiday but it, you know it's mm. but then my sensible head kind of says yeah yeah mate, uh, some people might say I'm not got a sensible head but you're the one who's standing in front of the banner so you're not very sensible oh, I remember this bit that was Mo he had something to say about the banner and whatnot because he was standing in front of it and I think people should be able to express themselves. But I was there expressing myself because mm. I wanted, if, if any focus went on that banner, I wanted to be there so people could see that there's other Arsenal fans in the stadium. We're not arguing between ourselves, but I'm just enjoying the win. They're mm. doing something with a banner and we can just be alongside each other and just coexist peacefully. Right, listen, the, yeah? the, the, the banner thing, right? So we're gonna Yeah, uh, so, the less uh, we say about thing, that, the better. Uh, I, I'm, I'm already hearing that it's caused a lot of controversy. We've just won four nil. Did you see that? There was like a jump cut. What was that jump cut about? If, if you, right. I can't actually remember what was cut out of this video and what I must have said for Robbie to chop that, but I just see a jump cut. You know, something to kind of, you know, that satisfaction of seeing us having mm. disharmony between us. So we took it a decision between us that have the banner and said, no, nah, let, let's leave it. And at the end of the day, we could, we could have lost four nil today brought it out and everyone will say you're overreacting so it's okay we can't win but the fact is this is not because of a couple of bad results this is not because we lost to Man United because we lost to Swansea it's a combination of years and years and years of lies uh, and and everything that the board from the board to the man Arsene Wenger is not solely responsible and we need to get people to understand that but aren't you by holding up that bub doing that banner now are you not going to deflect away 
No. From the result that we've had tonight. It's been a good result, 4-0. We're yeah. through to the next round. No, if anyone actually time. remembers yeah. this game and the result and everything else, the next game after this was Watford in the cup. And what happened? We lost. Going on the negative about Arsenal because of the banner. At the end of the day, Robbie, yeah. Uh, Arsene Wenger's the one that came out this week and made certain comments, you know, and he's the one who's tried defecting the poor performances onto other things. You know, at the end of the day, if they put the performance in like they did at Spurs, all right, 110%. But they have. They've just no, no, won 4-0. No. Listen, Robbie, it's come on. It's it's Hull. It's, let's, let's pull it in. He don't change all right? at all. We're eight points behind Leicester City, yeah? We're not struggling against oil money now. Yeah, what? What's that? Chris money. Do you know what I mean? And that, that's all it is. Because, and at the end of the day, Arsene Wenger's always... We gave him that kind of squeeze for the first five years that we moved into the stadium because we were like, look, we're losing all our best players. A lot of players have to take some of the blame to the one that jumped ship. Um, but then you also look at some of the things that some of the players have left, have said, mm. and it kind of rings home. I, 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 you know, I hate Van Persie all day long. But he was the one who turned around and said that he didn't feel the club was going in the direction that he wanted them to go. And how mad is that when you look now, 2020, has anything actually changed? What, or what are you, what are you, sorry, that's maybe the wrong thing to ask you. What are you hoping that that will achieve by, by holding across. it up today? Get our message across. To let Arsene Wenger, to let Stan Kroenke, Ivan Gazidis and everyone that's in charge of Arsenal know that fans have a voice. And we do care about this club. Just because we raise a banner doesn't mean we don't care. Love Arsenal through and through. Mm. It's in my blood. But it doesn't mean I have to accept some of the things that are going on. Let me ask you one last question. If at the end of the season, mm -hmm. we won the league and the FA Cup, did a double, would you still want him to go or would you say, all right, I'll reverse that? I still think it's time for him to go, regardless. I, I think that there's been too many problems, too many mistakes. And I think it's time for fresh ideas and a fresh approach. But saying that at the same time, we're not naive to know that there's still problems above. So who do Stan Kroenke and that get in? Do they get another yes man that will just aim for the top four? Do they get another yes man that won't go out and spend the money that we've got available? We're not asking for a lot, Robbie. All season, before the season started, we said we need a striker. And then Arsene Wenger's got the cheek to turn around lately and say, Oh, it's a bit of a worry that we're not taking all our chances and scoring goals. Well, quite obvious, isn't it? We were asking for a striker. The amount of times we that we used to have to moan about we this kind of stuff. The game doesn't mean we don't understand about football. And we're not asking for a lot, Robbie. We're not asking for a lot. We pay a lot of money. That guy you interviewed last week summed it up perfectly when he said that Wenger says that they won't overspend. But yet we overspend weekly every season and then you see the reports in the paper you know about how we've got a war chest and then you compare it over has anything years. actually changed in the last four years since this interview incidentally is when we start dropping and when we start bottling it you know i want nothing more if arsenal win the league this year i want to be the happiest man going and i'll say thank you very much to arsene wenger and you've got to remember the banner is not disrespectful it thanks him it thanks him for the memories because he gave us some truly great memories from the Invincibles, etc. But right now, we're just saying it's time for him to say goodbye and move on. Wow. Wow. I'll tell you something. Watching that back is quite eye-opening. There's a couple of moments in there where I'm like, oh, did I actually say that? And you look at it and you think, oh. Um, but overall, yeah, has anything really changed since 2016? We've still got the same issues, the same problems, but we've had different management. And I know that things were going to be difficult after Arsene left and there was such a mess that we had to pick up. But nothing's really changed, has it? Apart from the fact that we've actually got a quality striker now in Aubameyang. Um, but yeah, it's just so eye-opening when you watch these interviews back. This is the first time I've watched this back in years. And I couldn't even remember half of the stuff that I said in there. So quite an interesting one, that. And um, yeah, listen, let me know in the comments section what you think. Do you agree with what I was saying four years ago? 
has anything really changed or not? Um, and yeah, you know what? I'm going to be doing a lot more of these reaction videos. I'm going to be doing some more hidden gems, some ones that you may well have forgotten about. And I'm also going to be reacting to some of the classics, including that most watched uh, one in the AFTV history, the one away to Liverpool. Uh, <laughs> I think I can remember pretty much what was said in that. Um, but yeah, listen, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video and I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here.